Good day everyone. In today's video I'm gonna rebuild this uh, Razer E200 scooter with uh, some lithium iron phosphate batteries and also gonna build a nice wooden deck for it out of that sheet of plywood. If you're interested, stay tuned. So I picked this scooter up a little while ago, it was a non-working unit, uh, said it had bad batteries. So, so far what I did, I uh, took it apart already, I took the deck off and uh, took the batteries out. They're just uh, two regular lead acid batteries that are both bad. So I took them completely out and uh, what I did so far is I soldered the XT60 connector to the controller. And also it split another XT60 connector and ran it out this way so I would be able to charge it. Uh, so the next step would be is to uh, build the battery. I picked up some of these uh, 20, it's actually 32 650s uh, there, battery hookups batteries. So I picked up a few of these uh, to make a, a nice battery for here. And uh, also I picked up a sheet of plywood to make a nice deck. So I think I'll start off with the making a deck and then uh, we'll go make the battery and get it in there and see if we can get this thing working. All right, so I traced this deck out on my piece of plywood. Uh, so now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, cut it along with a, with a saw. I'll just uh, follow my line there and then uh, see how we do. All right, got the deco cut out. Uh, just to use the drill to drill out the uh, holes for the screws to go into and uh, everything seems to be nice and secure. There's plywood and nice and thick. Uh, so the next step, I'm taking all the screws out. I'm gonna sand everything uh, with 120 grit. I got my sander right there. You can do it by hand, but I just use the sander, it'll be a lot faster. Sand everything down, I'll probably stain it and then uh, put the coat of uh, poly over the top of this and uh, I'll show you the final. All right, the deck is done. So the first thing I did, I used uh, this stain right here uh, to stain it. It's a gray, Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. It's just a gray stain. I really like it. It kind of gives the wood pretty cool look. And after that, uh, after the stain, I uh, put some uh, poly on there just to kind of seal everything up. Uh, put my nephew's name on here. Since the scooter is going to be for him, it's going to be his present. So Ian, if you're watching, what's up, buddy? Uh, so the next step will be to get the battery done. So we're going to go inside while this is drying up and uh, get the battery done. Alrighty, it's time to start on the battery. Uh, for the battery, it needs to be 24 volts since we had two lead acid batteries put in the series. Uh, so what I need to do, I need to manage a 24 volt battery. For that, what I'm using is the battery hookup cells. They're Life PL4s, so, uh, 32650s. And they're also 5,000 milliamp hour each. So what I have to do, I have to put eight of them in series, meaning eight of them is connected positive to negative in order to, for me to match 24 volts. I'm also doing them two in parallel, so a total of 16 cells. And I'll show you the way I'm going to wire them up in order for me to hit 24 volts. Uh, so uh, I'm also using this uh, battery management system to kind of keep an eye on this pack to make sure everything is balanced, that nothing gets overcharged and or uh, cuts it off whenever the battery is depleted. So for that I'm using uh, this BMS. I've used a couple of these before. Uh, it seems to be a fairly decent brand. Uh, they work They work pretty good. And the uh, nickel strip I'm going to use to connect the batteries together. Uh, the BMS is 30 amps. Only thing I need is about 10 amps to run that scooter or even less than 10 amps. Uh, so this, this is going to be more than plenty of the BMS to run the scooter. Uh, so I'll start on uh, connecting, uh, spot welding uh, these uh, cells together. Uh, I'll, I'll be using my uh, DIY spot, spot welder, but um, you can use uh, soldering iron or whatever you, you do uh, to connect these two. Since I have my spot welder, I'll uh, spot weld these together and I'll show you the way I did it for me to get the 24 volts total.
All right, so batteries are spot welded. There's a total voltage of the pack is 26.2 volts. And the way it's uh, spot welded together is uh, you got your main positive, it connects down there, and it connects up here, connects down here, again, connects up here. I split it in two different packs, is, uh, just so I can fit it inside the scooter. I'll be able to put one mo module next to each other. And then uh, same thing on this side. So this is basically a 12 volt pack and 12 volt pack put together and to make the 24 volt pack. And then same thing, it connects down here, up here, down here, and then this is the main negative. Uh, so the next step would be is to connect the battery management system right here. Uh, so this connects to the main negative of the pack with a blue wire right here. So that will connect there. And then uh, the way these work, uh, this is the balance uh, cable, so the, it knows, the BMS knows the voltage of each individual cell. Uh, so the way they will work is you'll start with the black one on the side, and that would connect here, and the next one over, next red one over, second one right there. It would go here, and next one, next one, next one, all the way up to until we reach this end here. And your last, very last red one right here is going to end up being here. So that's uh, what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to hook up this battery management system. All right, the balance cables are all connected and I checked the voltage in between each pin. Make sure it goes up by three and a half volts, the voltage of each cell. So all these are perfect. Uh, the wires connected correctly. So next step would be, I got some of the shrink wrap and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it onto these batteries just to uh, seal them up so they don't short anything out or anything like that. Plus it'll make it look a little nicer. So I, I cut two of them out, I'm gonna put them on and I got the heat gun I'll use that uh, to just heat shrink these on to make it look a little tidy. And after that, I'm gonna connect the XT60 connector onto the BMS, that's the main negative of the pack. And this is main positive of the pack, even though it's black, it's main positive of the whole pack. That's also gonna go to the connector. And then uh, we'll test it onto a scooter, on the scooter. All right, so the battery's plugged right in into the controller. They fit right in perfectly. I just put them in here, balance wires. Uh, this is the connector that goes all the way straight to the controller from the batteries, as you can see. So now comes the moment of the truth. We're gonna turn it on. All right, that lights up. And uh, let's see if we'll have any power. I try to kind of Lift the back tire up with my leg. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's working, so that's great. Uh, so the next step would be to put this together. I'm gonna put the board on and then the back piece on and then uh, the charger comes in tomorrow and uh, it's already pretty late, so tomorrow I wanna take it for a ride and test everything out, make sure everything works good. I don't anticipate any issues. But I'll bring you guys along. I'm trying to test and see at what voltage this BMS is going to turn off the pack. So right now we're at 22.9 volts. I'm assuming it's going to be about 22 volts when the BMS completely cuts out. So I'm just going to have it slide up the real skin and super loud. 
but uh, I'll try to update you guys and uh, let you know what, th what voltage this thing will shut down at. All right, so BMS shut down the pack at 22 volts. That's about 2.7, 2.8 volts per cell, which is perfect for this uh, live PO4 chemistry. So the next thing I did, I actually re I used to have the XT60 connector sticking out over here that uh, you, you could use for charging. But what I did, I actually rewired it to the standard charging port because I was able to find a 8S charger. So this is the design for live PO4 batteries, 8S. Uh, charging right now you can see that red light and as soon as it turns green it's charged uh, and I was able to find it with the plug that matched the standard plug for the scooter so that's perfect it looks all OEM uh, plugs up right in here but is it able to charge the battery so as soon as it gets up to 28.8 volts uh, this light right here will turn green and then uh, the pack will be charged to 3.6 volts, volts per cell which is really safe voltage for these cells that's perfect uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it just to make sure and then uh, update you from there. Alrighty, scooter is all charged up, 28.8 uh, volts, so everything is perfect. So now it's time to take it for a ride. Alrighty guys, this project is done. I'm pretty happy with the results. I think it looks pretty OEM as far as like charging goals and all that stuff plus a couple cool custom touches. Uh, I hope uh, my little nephew loves it uh, and uh, enjoys it uh, for a long time. Uh, the batteries should last a long time. Uh, scooter should go a lot longer than it did with the stock batteries. And uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have a few other projects coming up uh, I'll be working on and I'll try to share with everybody. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.